typically as an artist, you know, it's scary because you don't have certain things that other jobs come with. Um, so, you know, being amidst like a global crisis, it's just like even more terrifying. So my name is Lee D'Angelo. I'm a tattoo artist. Um, I go by the name Rat666Tat on Instagram. Um, I also own, uh, co-own a tattoo shop called Tapestry. It's a trans and queer run shop. Since the pandemic, I've sort of gone back to being like a commission-based illustrator and like selling clothing. Um, so I mostly do, you know, oil painting, illustration, um, things that I was doing before tattooing that were like, you know, good side projects, but can't really pay the rent. Um, I mean, luckily last month it did, and I think people are trying to support artists a lot right now. The first day that I sat down and I was like, I'm gonna do oil painting again. It, it had been five years and I was like fully expecting that it was gonna be a failure. So I sat down and I was like trying to remember like how to mix paint and it was an epic failure and that was a really hard day for me. And then the next day I got back into it and I just like, I painted something that I didn't hate and then I remembered that I actually really enjoy it. Tattooing is an immediate like sense of gratification. You tattoo someone for a couple hours and then you're both just so happy and sort of give someone this like gift, you know? Uh, with oils, you sort of like mess around on this canvas until you don't hate it anymore. And then even when you think you're done, like you could probably do more to it. It's really uh, had to make me stop and be like a more patient person. Because um, even, even the type of drawing that I do for tattooing, it's all like line work and very bold, but like oil is just like layering pigments on each other. Like you can't really predict all the time it's gonna happen. So you have to be open to the unknown. And it's been a good lesson for me. Like I think I need to probably do both when things go back to normal. I also just started six months ago a, um, a tattoo supply company that focuses on eco products called Good Judy. I realized when I opened my tattoo shop that even having five people working in a building was generating so much single-use plastic garbage. So I just, uh, I just started looking into things and trying to see if there are alternatives out there and there really weren't. So I partnered with um, a, a client actually who's an entrepreneur and we co-run this eco tattoo supply company together. We focus on compostable and biodegradable products. Obviously, you know, having a new business in the pandemic is really difficult, um, but it also sort of explodes the issue of climate change and how big of a deal and how much of a need there is for, for more companies like this. I mean, I feel very fortunate that I have, I have strong support and I feel like, you know, people, people do respond to my art well, so there's comfort in that. But at, at the same time, I'm like, you know, I can't keep making a new shirt every week and people can't keep buying shirts all the time. So I do have a, a fear that the skills that I have um, won't sustain me. You know, I, I am kind of worried about what's going to happen post COVID when things open up again and people are allowed to go back to work. Like, will this affect tattooing? Like, will people still want to keep their appointments? Will they be able to afford it? Will they be afraid to come into the shop? I just don't know. Um, but I'm really trying hard to just not listen to that voice, you know?